socio-economic issues. The newly developed GM crop varieties will be owned by the developers and patented. Therefore, farmers are compelled to purchase their seeds every year from giant seed companies with a monopoly, spending a lot of money. Poor farmers may not be able to afford to buy the seeds. Therefore, there is a risk of widening a gap between the rich and the poor farmers. There is a growing public concern whether it is ethically correct to patent crops and biological resources, including genes that are found in nature. Some crops and products that have been developed traditionally used by indigenous people have been patented under some biotechnology companies. The consumer has the right to decide whether he or she purchase GM or non-GM food. To secure this right, regulatory agencies need to implement a system of labeling to indicate clearly whether the product is GM or not. And if it is GM, then what are the changes that have been made? Labeling is mandatory in some countries. Products labeled non-GM have often been found to be contaminated with GM when tested. Biological resources of a country or region with high biodiversity, traditional knowledge are taken away by biotechnology companies without any authorization by the countries, people or without paying compensation for product development. This is called Biopiracy The manipulation of the nature in making GMOs contradicts the beliefs of certain religions. GM Atlantic salmon, which grow twice as faster than non GM. Example of an international agreement is Cartagena Protocol. Most countries also have their own legislations, such as National Biosafety Framework of Sri Lanka.